안녕하세요. 안차키입니다. Now beside me as usual is 지승현 선생님. 안녕하세요. 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 지승현입니다. I hope this will be another fun lesson. Well, that seems to be up to the two of us. Now, let's begin with a review of the expressions from our last lesson. 지승현 선생님, 오늘 어디 가요? 커피숍에 가요. 커피숍에서 뭘 해요? 커피숍에서 친구를 만나요. So, 선생님 is going to a cafe to meet a friend. Now, remember this expression? So, when you want to tell someone what you're doing in a certain place, all you have to do is state the name, the word for the place, followed by 에서 and the verb describing the action. Now, by now, you must be curious about what's in store in this lesson. So, let's go to the clip. <laughs> Michael, 민욱 씨 어디에 있어요? 도서관에서 공부해요. Well, Suji is at her school to meet a friend. Now she runs into Michael who is studying for his exam in the lecture hall. Now she asks Michael where Minuk is and then the two of them exit the lecture hall to get some coffee. Now, here's a check of what's in this lesson. The first point we'll learn is how to form the negative for verbs and adjectives by using the word an. And the other thing is how to form questions with ne and anio. Now, how do we form a negative sentence using the word an? Well, before I give away the answer, I think we should go over some vocabulary. 보다, 봐요. 봐요. 바쁘다. 바빠요. 바빠요. 먹다. 먹어요. 먹어요. 만나다. 만나요. 만나요. 공부하다, 공부해요, 공부해요. <목소리> 지금 바빠요? 아니요, 지금 안 바빠요. 마이클 씨, 요즘 공부 많이 해요? 아니요, 공부 많이 안 해요. Michael asks Suji if she is busy. Now, Suji has come to school to meet with a friend, but she seems to have come a little early and she has some time left. Now, how would you tell someone that you are not busy in Korean? 아니요, 지금 안 바빠요. Now, 안 here is equivalent to the English word not, right? That's right. In Korean, it's very simple to form the negative. All you have to do is add the word an in front of the verb or an adjective, like 안 바빠요, 안 가요, 안 먹어요. It's as simple as that. But there seems to be one thing that's a little different. Now, in the case of 공부해요, the word 안 doesn't come in front, but it actually comes in the middle. Now, it is 공부 안해요, right? Now, why is that? Well, that's uh, the infinitive 공부하다 is a combination of the noun 공부 and the verb 하다, right? And the verbs ending in 하다, we place the 안 between the noun and the verb. Well, that sounds easy enough. Now, let's get some practice by placing the word an in front of the verbs to form the negative. 먹어요. 
안 먹어요. 안 먹어요. 만나요. 안 만나요. 안 만나요. 공부를 해요. 공부를 안 해요. 공부를 안 해요. 지금 바빠요? 아니요, 지금 안 바빠요. 마이클 씨, 요즘 공부 많이 해요? 아니요, 공부 많이 안 해요. As you have just seen, it's really quite simple to form a question in Korean. Yes, that's right. All you have to do is add the question mark at the end of the sentence and raise the tone of your voice a little bit at the end. Here's an example. If you want to ask someone if he or she is eating rice, 밥을 먹어요, with a voice going up a little bit at the end. 밥을 먹어요? 밥을 먹어요? Now, 선생님 and I are going to get some practice, so why don't you join us? Now, 텔레비전을 봐요? 네, 텔레비전을 봐요. 밥을 먹어요? 아니요, 밥을 안 먹어요. 친구를 만나요? 네, 친구를 만나요. 공부를 해요? 아니요, 공부를 안 해요. Now, let's get a check on the new vocabulary and expressions that we came across in this lesson. Now, the first thing was what Michael said to Suji when they met. The expression was, 웬일이에요? Now, what does this mean? Well, it is something like, what's up in English, and it is an expression we use when we meet someone unexpectedly, and it is used to mean, what are you doing here? This is a very commonly used expression, so try to memorize it through repetition. 웬일이에요? 웬일이에요? Now, there was also a new word. Yes, it was the word exam, 시험. Repeat after me. 시험. 시험. It's time to recap what we've learned so far. Now, let's go over the expressions one by one with Minuk, Michael, and Suji. Michael, Shi. Michael, Shi. 수지 씨, 안녕하세요. 수지 씨, 안녕하세요. 웬일이에요? 웬일이에요? 오늘 학교에서 친구를 만나요. 오늘 학교에서 친구를 만나요. 지금 바빠요? 지금 바빠요? 아니요, 지금 안 바빠요. 아니요, 지금 안 바빠요. 마이클 씨, 요즘 공부 많이 해요? 마이클 씨, 요즘 공부 많이 해요? 아니요, 공부 많이 안 해요. 
아니요, 공부 많이 안 해요. 내일 시험이 있어요. 내일 시험이 있어요. 민욱 씨 어디에 있어요? 민욱 씨 어디에 있어요? 도서관에서 공부해요. 도서관에서 공부해요. Hmm, did you say you wanted another look at the clip? Well, you're in luck. Here is another look. Michael, Shi. Suji, Shi. 안녕하세요. 웬일이에요? 오늘 학교에서 친구를 만나요. 지금 바빠요? 아니요, 지금 안 바빠요. 마이클 씨, 요즘 공부 많이 해요? 아니요, 공부 많이 안 해요. 내일 시험이 있어요. 민욱 씨, 어디에 있어요? 도서관에서 공부해요. It's time now to learn Korean characters. Now, the character for this lesson is the consonant pew, right? Pew. Let's learn how to write it. Start with a stroke from left to right, then a short stroke under the horizontal stroke, and another one next to it, followed by a horizontal stroke linking the two vertical strokes. Let's try pronouncing it. Pube, pube, pube. Let's add the vowel a ah to pube to come up with a letter. Pa, pa, pa. Now, what are some of the other words that contain the character pube? Pa to, pa to. Poto, Poto, P D, P D. I'm afraid we've run out of time for this edition of Let's Speak Korean. Now let's finish off with a quick review. 선생님은 오늘 학교에 가요? 아니요, 안 가요. Well, I hope you understood everything in this lesson. Keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. 안녕히 계세요.